nice flag breakfast quiet time duties dawn sweep trash gas mop more yard greg be a baby routine jump rope jumping jacks push-ups crutches crunches <laughs> run uh to mailbox and back Are we climbing here? I hope not. I mean, oh, go, 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 go. The loft after her brothers died. Hold on, I'm not ready to climb. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. We didn't read about Gus. Gus, he was all about army, maybe. A poem for Gus. Who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. There's a wedding, really? Who, who was getting married? made him come of course but Gus stood far apart just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart I tried to talk him out of it but though he'd never met her we don't need a stepmom were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife oh hold on so Sam was married with Kay and they had three children and then Sam was marrying her maybe a at the wedding you maybe Gus died <laughs> we'll see step mom we don't need Yeah. So what am I what am I doing here? Ooh, hello. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined and as a sign held up his middle finger. Oh. <laughs> oh. You can tell Gus what was a badass. A rebel. The wind picked up and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. But Gus did. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. Okay, and Gus was still outside. I wish that. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Okay, so he died in a storm, like something collapsed on him, I guess. All right. Yeah, 
I guess we climbing up. Please don't fall. For the love of God, don't fall. Thank you. So it's Dom's room, right? Like her mom's, right? Holy Bible, okay. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Ooh, nice. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Ah, okay. Don Sanjay. So, Sanjay, yeah, it's her father. Why? Why she's not talking about her father? And what, and who was marrying S Sam? Or oh, she's not relevant. It's so weird. Fly to India, pack. Don Finch. We're not gonna read that. Okay. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Mm. Lewis was born a year later. <gasps> okay, missing posters here again. I guess we climbing up. Oh. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Oh, okay. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Oh, Don. Mm hmm. Edit. Norton. Lewis. And to see Little kids garden. in the house again. Yeah, little garden here. Very cute. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. I wonder how it's, how it didn't collapse. I mean, there's so many floors, one on top of each other. How it's still holding up. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. For a while. Great job. It's like our homeschool. Lewis, Edit, Barbara, Gregory, okay, all, all the people. Mm -hmm. Great job. But it didn't last. Yeah, like she was teaching Mrs. Finch, like she, she was teaching them at home. Well, she turned the, the like, whole room into a class. That's, Oh, she even wrote a book. Okay. Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Wait, are we, are we going? I think we will have to check here first, this uh, observatory, Milton. Castle. Mm -hmm. Milton. Oh. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings.
Guess we're not going in. Oh, we're going in. Yeah, hold on. Well, I guess it's the only way, so... Yeah. I was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Yeah, maybe. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. He drew a door and yeah. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Yeah, you can tell she did. Whatever Milton had found in the house. Mom didn't want it getting out. Um, okay. That's a little bit. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. Okay. I see. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. No, 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 oh, 
didn't think she would do that automatically. Go in, please. Thank you. Okay. I see. You liked plans, huh? High school diploma. Louis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Locker content contents. John Finch. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working well, at the cannery. Good job. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... One began to what? I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. Things that have not names. Dragon. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Oh, it's Dridina. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. It got, it's getting he told even me more and more. Made a new friend. Doblo. It's replacing the reality. On the edge of a city, he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished.
he held an election for mayor. And he won. <laughs> they begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He went to explore the Conquer world. a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a Handsome queen. The queen was on her own quest for... Rainbow. Radiant rainbows. Yeah, sounds good. Followed the sound of her. Silver Hark. Ooh. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh, I don't see the... Okay. He knew the world was all in his imagination. I barely see this, uh, hear the sound. Oh God, it's getting more and more tr 3D. But he was so mm. proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Oh, God. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I will. In reality. Canary, oh, yeah, I guess. His locker, but his, like. Apartment, Imperial Palace. Began Ooh. to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. It's him, right? He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Finch, yeah. Oh, I have the shadow of this king! You! Hey, Lewis. Come back to reality, Lewis.
I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Including the wise Calico who had insisted on advising him. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son, was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Horrible. This is just horrible. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Horrible. He was a sick man. 